Hey guys, it's Moon Moth Goddess. Welcome back to the channel. If you are returning, welcome if you are new here. Please consider subscribing if you guys have not done so already. Please also feel free to check out the Pick a Card playlist that I have for you guys. If you go over to my channel's page and check out, I have more than 160 Pick a card readings for you guys to binge, walk, um, watch, and go through. Um, I also have some of my past live streams that I have done as well. Um, and you can also check out the deck reviews plays list in which I do have um, reviews or flip throughs of some of the decks that I do also have available for purchase in my Etsy shop. So Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. Um, we have also just selected our winner for the month of May. Um, free in-depth reading giveaway. So to those of you that are new, I do free in-depth reading giveaways once a month here on the channel. Um, so if you guys are interested in entering into um, a drawing that I do monthly, um, the next one will be for June of 2021. Um, just make sure that you are subscribed and you tap the notification bell so that you do get that um, notification that I am opening the drawing up for um, people that are wanting to enter into June's free in-depth reading giveaway. Um, so all you need to do is just go over to the post once I do um, post it in the community tab and then just type the word enter. Um, we just did maze, so... We are going to be a few weeks out before we have that one open again to win a free in-depth reading with me. My in-depth readings usually run from an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. It depends how much um, spirit is wanting to communicate um, about your situation. So every reading is, is different, okay? So thank you to those of you guys who have been so loving and supportive in the comments um, not only with me, but also with each other, being very supportive of one another and what it is that you guys are going through. I do love seeing you guys interacting with each other and all of the love, support, and positivity that you do bring to the channel. Also, to those of you that have also donated um, and those that are wanting to donate, I do have an Amazon wish list and I do have my Cash App and PayPal for those of you that are wanting to send in donations that way. Um, I also have private readings that I do have available. Just send me an email, moonmothgoddess at gmail.com, and it will get you set up with a private reading with me and my soonest available uh, day as well as pricing, okay? So today's pick a card reading uh, is going to be a kind of two question, two part um, reading. So it is going to be a little bit longer for those of you that are new. I don't do short readings. I do very long readings. Um, because I really want you guys to get the feel of what it is to have a private reading with me. So if we're doing your reading for you, I want the pick a card readings here to be a glimpse into what that experience is like for those of you. You know, not everyone can afford to have a private reading. Um, so I like to make sure that the readings that I do for you guys free here on the channel are ones that you get a lot of help, a lot of information, a lot of healing messages with the readings that we do here. So this reading, this pick a card is going to be two, two parts, two questions. Um, we're going to have three piles, but our questions are going to be, who are you meant to be with? Okay, so a life partner, a divine counterpart, however you choose to see um, well, whatever that means to you, who are you meant to be with, okay? And then the second part of that is going to be what will your relationship or connection be like with this person, okay? So our questions again, who are you meant to be with and what will your relationship or connection with that person be like, okay? So pile number one is going to be the Botan Tarot. Okay, the Bataan Tarot. So it is this Japanese beautiful floral. Okay. Pile number one. Who are you meant to be with? And what will your relationship or connection be? be like with the Badan Tarot with the pink 
opal crystal okay pile number two you are going to be the ethereal visions tarot so think about the question who are you meant to be with and what will your connection or your relationship be like okay ethereal visions Pile number two, and you guys are going to be the rhodonite crystal, which is kind of like a pinkish, pinkish gray little square cube. Okay, rhodonite, pile number two. Pile number three, you are going to be the star spinner tarot. Star spinner tarot. Pile number three, who are you meant to be with? And what will your connection or relationship be like with them? Okay, star spinner tarot. And then your crystal is going to be this blue tiger's eye. Kind of looks black but it's called a blue tiger's eye okay so pile number one the botan tarot pile number two the ethereal visions and then pile number three is going to be the star spinner tarot so if you need more time pause the video and i will see you at your pile hello pile number one hello to all of you so this is the first time I am actually doing a pick a card um, with the camera facing me. So um, I am using my phone, so it's going to take me some getting used to. So I hope you guys, I hope this isn't too dark for you guys. Um, but I'm going to be doing this reading for you with um, our two questions today, like I talked about in the intro. Um, the first question is going to be, who are you meant to be with? Um, and then we're going to move into the second question, which is what will your connection with this person be like? What will your relationship with them be like? So pile number one, we chose the Bhutan Tarot. So we're going to be starting with that. And then I do have all of my decks. Excuse my mess back there, but I don't. I don't really keep up after it so much um, when I get done with readings. I need to be better about that, but I know where everything is. <laughs> okay, so pile number one. Spirit, who is pile number one meant to be with? And I hope you guys can hear me okay too, because I'm not using my headphones. Usually I use my husband's um gaming headphones for the reasons and I'm not doing that today because they're really big and bulky and I need to get a different mic okay so pile number one who are you meant to be with okay wow okay so <laughs> I could not make this up. We have the Two of Cups, okay? And then we also have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so let's get a little bit more. Um, first, what I'm seeing with this is that this potentially, and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Wow, pile number one. I'm not, I'm not believing these cards that are coming out right now. Okay, we also have the Star, okay? And then we also have the Four of Wands, okay? So for some of you, this is going to be a very beautiful connection. Um, with the Two of Cups energy here, this is talking about a soulmate. Um, for some of you, it could also be a Twin Flame, because we do have the Four of Wands, and I kind of see that as the 11-11 um, um, energy there. So it could potentially be someone who is 
a twin flame. It could also be a soulmate. Um, we do have a lot of um, water sign energy here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, we also have a strong Aquarian energy here. Okay. So with the star energy here. I feel like this is going to be someone who is very significant. So um, if you, for some of you, you may already know who this person is. Or you could already be connecting with someone um, who is your soulmate, who you believe to be your twin flame. Um, so really, this is Spirit saying here, this is very, very beautiful energy here. Um, I am going to get some more because I'm nosy and I do love clarifying all of this energy for you guys. So um, Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups energy, and then the Star. So with the Knight of Cups energy here, um, doesn't have to be, but the Knights are usually a little bit on the younger side. Um, I would say maybe 20s, um, 30s, however, um, it could just be talking about your person's um, characteristics as far as someone who's very loving, someone who's very romantic. Um, with the Four of Wands here, I also see this being a connection that is also very stable, okay? So to those of you who feel like the person that you're with right now is making you second guess things or is making you feel insignificant or is making you feel uh, like you're having to try or put too much energy into luring them towards you or wanting them to kind of like you're putting so much energy into this person. This person is either unemo emotionally unavailable. This may not be the person. This may be a new person for you with the Knight of Cups. So you'll have to use your discernment with that. Um, and with the star energy here as well, I also see that this will be a connection for you in which it is going to provide a lot of healing, okay? A lot of healing. Um, for some of you with the star energy here, it could also be that this person, um, you know, I'm not going to say it's going to be for all of you, but for some of you, it could also be someone who is um, maybe social media, other people like really look to this person so maybe someone you know low-key famous someone who is in the public eye okay with the star energy there okay um so like i said for those of you where you feel like the connection or the person even that you're thinking about right now is not like this then this could potentially be a different person for you um so just kind of use your, your best judgment there. I'm going to get two more. So pile number one, who are you meant to be with? It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy here as well. Okay, we do have the Six of Swords. We do have the Devil energy here. And then we also have the Four of Coins. Okay, so with that Four of Coins energy, I also see that as um, a connection, again, with the Four of Wands and the Four of Coins here. This is talking about something that is pretty stable, okay? My only concern here, and I don't want to say super concerned, but you never know, with the Devil energy here, it could be different for all of you. The Devil energy can talk about different things that you're dealing with. For some of you, it could be a karmic partner. For some of you, um, it could be fear it could be um different things that you have going on with this um devil energy it could also be a capricorn okay we do also have the six of swords energy here so with the six of swords i do see this for some of you potentially um it could be someone that you have already um, ended a relationship or connection with okay i am going to clarify these energies because I'm really wanting to know what this devil energy is about. Um, it could also potentially be talking about a soul contract that you may have with this person or some type of um, even a connection that feels very karmic-y um, for some of you. Okay, we do also have the Ace of Wands underneath the deck. And with that Ace of Wands, I do see this as something that is very passionate. Um... So let's get into clarifying here. Let's see what this Two of Cups energy is here. Okay. 
What is this Two of Cups? Ten of Cups. What is this Two of Cups? Okay. So we do have the moon energy here. Okay, so some of you it could be a Pisces. Um I feel like for some of you with the moon energy here, because the moon is are things that are hidden from us. And this could be things where potentially this person is hiding feelings, hiding emotions. There could also be, you know, a lot of irrational fear that may be kind of holding this person back from coming forward and connecting with you. For those of you that already know who this person is. Um, I feel like as well with the moon energy and the two of cups, that this will also be a connection in which... Um, you and this person may have maybe a telepathic, very intuitive um, type of connection. For some of you, you could be having dreams um, of this person. Okay. I do want to see what this devil energy is here before anything else. What is this devil energy? Okay. We do have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So with this Knight of Swords energy, I am feeling younger energy here. However, it does not have to be. It could be, you know, could somebody who just has those types of characteristics um, within them. The Knight of Swords energy is a little bit more of someone who is, now that I'm looking at, because this is clarifying this Devil energy here. So with the Devil energy and the Knight of Swords, I also see this as someone who is potentially a risk taker. Someone who kind of is very adventurous. Um, some of you may feel with the Knight of Swords energy that this is someone who is, um, may come across as a little bit reckless, um, in some way because they are someone who kind of takes those risks. They may also be someone with the devil energy there, um, that may have some habits, you know, you'll have to decide whether or not with this person, if that's going to be a deal breaker for you or not. With the devil energy, it could be talking about, um, addictions, anything like that. Not to really judge people, you know, but the devil energy can be a lot of those things. But somebody who has um, addiction issues, somebody who, um, you know, spends a lot of money, somebody who, who kind of lives um, in that way, um, you know, having, spending a lot of money on cars or, you know, uh, going out to eat, different things like that. So for some of you, this could also be someone who you disconnected with. Because we do have the Six of Swords here as well. It may also be someone who you are pulling away or deciding to cut away someone out of your life that is toxic. Okay? So for some of you, I also get this message here with the Knight of Swords and the Devil energy here. Um, that this is going to be maybe someone that you are needing to let go of. Okay? Or it could also be that this person who you're meant to be with. Um, you're needing to pull away from someone who is bringing in toxicity to your life. Um, the Knight of Swords energy is about taking action, taking swift action, decisive type of action there. So, um, it could be about you needing to move away or let go of somebody with a Six of Swords energy here who is not serving you, um, at this point in your life to really kind of open you up to this Two of Cups energy here. Okay, so I am seeing Pisces, strong Pisces here, strong Aquarius, lots of water energy. So this person could have a lot of water um, in their chart. Okay, so I feel like moving on from stuff that is a lot less stable. So it could also be that you're cutting a karmic partner out of um, your life here. So let's see what the Six of Swords energy is here. I hope it's not too dark in here, you guys. I don't even have a lamp in here. Just the overhead light and it is a little bit dim. I'll figure it out. I just decided last minute to do this, so I'll try to do this more often if you guys like this. So at least for those of you that are new to the channel, you can put a face to the hands that are always um, reading these cards. So Six of Swords. What is this Six of Swords energy here? Okay. For some of you, I also get this message with the Six of Swords energy here that this could also potentially be someone who lives at a distance. Um, it could be a long distance relationship or connection for some of you. 
Okay, to clarify that, we also have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands energy. This is talking about someone who... I feel like for some of you, it may be some, a situation in which the connection feels challenging with the Seven of Wands. Let's see what this Four of Coins energy is here. Okay. So we have the Empress in the reverse. Let's get a little bit more. I feel for some of you with this Empress in Reverse, some of you, like I said, it could be a soulmate or a twin flame, but with this Empress in Reverse, I feel like, for, I feel a lot of twin flame energy in this pile. Um, with this Empress in Reverse, I kind of get this feeling that there is needing to be some type of heart chakra opening or divine feminine energy healing for you and this person. Um, I feel like kind of leaving behind a lot of the karmic cycles. So it may also happen for you with this person or for you at the, at a time in your life when you are cutting and removing away a lot of the things that you make, make you feel like you are stuck. Um, because with the Empress in the reverse, I also see this as maybe a lack of confidence either on your part, on their part. Um... Let's get a little bit more. What is this for coins energy here? Okay. So we have the King of Swords and we also have the Eight of Cups. Okay. So. I really feel like this is a lot of this. Whoever this is, Soulmate Twin Flame. It's kind of like you guys are needing to pull away or move away from a either something that you guys are going through emotionally to become into alignment with who this other person is because I'm actually feeling two different energies in here so it's kind of like you may for some of you not for all of you but for some of you it could be a situation in which you feel still connected to someone else and I feel that's kind of like why in the beginning of this reading I started to say that some of you may be feeling like it's one person when it could be someone else, okay? Um, with the Eight of Cups here, and we also have the Six of Swords. So both of these are talking about letting go and moving on from vices, addictions, unhealthy patterns of behavior, um, and kind of moving on from that. Because with this Empress in Reverse, this is indicating... You know feminine energy needing to be healed so it could also be that if you are the feminine watching this um, or, or identify as the feminine if you're in a twin flame situation that this is going to be needing to heal still still needing to heal because with this king of swords energy here this is about making logical decisions being able to um, I feel like cut something away okay so there could be a lot of healing like I said with the star energy here I feel like this connection the person that you're meant to be with is going to be this connection is going to provide a lot of healing um, I feel like with the knight of cups energy here as well that this person is also going to be someone who does really come in and sweep you off your feet with the seven of wands here I feel like you may even feel a little bit guarded with this person or this person may come across as garden as well but i feel like you and this person will be helping each other to heal from this and starting to kind of cut away a lot of those feelings um, and emotions underneath the deck i'm just getting a peek of the two of wands okay so that two of wands it could also be that either you or this person is at a crossroads in your life um, and needing to you know decide for some of you, it's going to be between two people, I feel like, um, with this devil energy here and the knight of swords, okay? Making the decision to cut this out of your life, or for some of you, this karmic partner, 
Um, let's get a little bit more. Let's see what this Four of Wands energy here. With the Four of Wands, I also do see that as someone who this could potentially be the life partner, the person you're meant to be. Um, you know, because not everyone feels the same about marriage. But with the Four or the yeah the Four of Wands there, I do see this as something in which you will be. Um, you know, you could potentially uh, having a family, starting a family, um, getting married, getting engaged. For some of you, this could be someone from the past. Okay. But with this wounded type of energy here with the Empress, there's the kind of like this lack of confidence, a lack of feeling whole and complete. But it's kind of moving away from that. For this Four of Coins energy here as well, I kind of feel... With this, that there is a fear of loss, a fear of letting go, a fear of kind of taking things to that next level. Let's get one more for this devil energy here. Where's this devil energy here? For pile number one. What is this devil energy for pile number one? What is this devil energy for pile number one? So we've got the, wow, we've got the Ten of Wands, okay? So with this Ten of Wands here, this Devil energy is a lot of heaviness, a lot of maybe stress that you might be feeling. And I feel like because it's attached to this Devil energy, and we've got the Knight of Swords with that, okay? So I feel like it is going to be letting go of a either a karmic partner, a toxic cycle, this could even be, for some of you, I feel like it's going to be two different people. But for others of you, I feel like it could potentially be the same person. And you guys are needing to grow and evolve um, from this place where there is a lot of that overwhelming type of feeling and energy. Okay, and then needing to kind of let go of that and really focus on healing. Um, with this empress energy here and for some of you with this four of coins the person who you may feel within your gut is either not the one or that this person may be someone who you know that you guys are working on yourselves whether that is while you guys are together or while you guys are apart with the four of coins here I feel like there is a there is a part of you that is not wanting to let Maybe the person go that you're still connected to. Or it can be letting go of this cycle that you guys are kind of um, stuck in here. Okay. So we're going to get some oracle messages here because I don't want this first question to be so crazy, crazy long. But I don't have enough time to do the rest of the files because I do have to go out with my husband today. So, pile number one, who are you meant to be with? I feel like this person is also going to be someone who's very mysterious, who may have been hurt a lot in the past. Um, this person may be kind of a little bit, not necessarily shy about opening up, but kind of hiding their feelings, hiding their emotions here. Pile number one, who are you meant to be with? Who's pile number one meant to be with? Okay, wow, okay. So we've got falsity here, okay? So with this falsity energy here, I do feel like for some of you, this person may be not letting on, hiding feelings, like I said. Um, kind of wearing this mask, feeling very guarded, not wanting to kind of open up, I feel like. Who is pile number one meant to be with? Okay. We have domestic. Who is pile number one meant to be with? We've also got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here as well. We've got memories. Okay. So with this memories energy here and the domestic, this could potentially be someone for some of you. This is a general reading, so there's a lot of different energy here. 
Um, but with the domestic energy here, I do feel like this is someone who is going to be grounded, stable. So if the person, like I said in the beginning, if the person that you are with right now does not make you feel that way, then this could potentially be a new person for you. With the domestic energy here, I do feel like this is going to be someone who is has it together. Okay, this is going to be someone who may even own their own home, someone who's stable, someone who has a good solid foundation. With the memories here as well, this could also for some of you potentially be someone that you know from the past. We also have this little clock in here as well. So I also kind of see that as a oh, wrong way. Um, I also kind of see that as a divine timing thing. Okay. Potentially some type of divine timing or waiting, you know, waiting for this person to come um, forward. Okay, so now I'm going to get into some romance in the rules. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's two different energies here. That there's one person from the past. Someone who's, who's either maybe scared, still having feelings, um, or even that you may still have feelings for. Um... And this person, I feel like for some of you, you have like a difficult time letting go of someone. Letting go of, of a person. But I feel like Spirit is saying here that once you let this person go, when you really start to focus on healing your inner divine feminine energy, okay, even if you are a man watching this, we are both, we have both feminine and masculine here. With the Empress, this is talking about you know, inner child healing that needs to be done. I could even be talking about just that lack of confidence, that lack of low self-esteem, um, you know, wounding that we've had from a past um, toxic connection. Okay. So pile number one, who are you meant to be with? I also feel like this is spirit saying that this person is not going to be that way. This person is not going to be toxic. This person is not going to be someone who is wearing this mask. Like you are going to know who this person is when you meet them. Some of you, like I said, you may already be having dreams of this person. Pile number, who's pile number one meant to be with? So we have getting to know each other, okay, and then we also have very soon, okay, so with the very soon, this says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, okay, so clearly decide what it is you want. Some of you may be having to choose between two different people, okay. Um, getting to know each other, it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I do feel like you and this person are going to be having those long, you know, romantic um, type of talks with each other. Okay, getting to know, feeling comfortable, um, opening yourself up. We also have attraction underneath the deck. So I feel like this, you know, this person and you, this person could be very... Very handsome, very good looking. Okay, so let's get a little bit more. And then we're going to switch over to the second question. So pile number one. Wow, we have mentor flying right out here. Passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. We have mentor energy here. So I feel like this connection is also going to be something that either you're going to teach this person a lot, you guys are learning a lot with each other through this connection that you have. Um, it could also be that this person makes you feel comfortable, this person makes you feel safe. If you see this here, this person is kind of holding on to this other person there. So I feel like it'll... Uh, Someone very smart, very nurturing, very loving. Who is pal number one meant to be with? Who is pal number one meant to be with? Wow, we have 
angel here. Helping those in need with no expectation of return. Okay. So beautiful energy there. Wow, we have night here too. Loyalty, romance, and chivalry. Chivalry. A love of honor. Okay. So that is really in alignment with that Knight of Cups energy. Someone loyal, someone romantic. So if you kind of feel, like I said, the connection that you're in right now, if it does not feel this way, then this could potentially be a um, new person. Okay, let's get one more. Who is pile number one meant to be with? Who is pile number one meant to be with? Wow. Okay, so we've got three more. We've got, actually, yeah, three more. We've got engineer, okay? And this one says, ability to give creative energy a practical expression, talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. So being able to find a solution with you with communication. Um, it could also literally be that this person is an engineer, someone who's very smart, very intelligent. Um, we also have warrior energy here as well. So maybe this person... But the seven of wands, you know, maybe this person has gone through a lot. They're very, they take on a lot. You know, it could also be with that, that, um, what was that? The 10 of wands energy. The 10 of wands could, you know, be that this person is carrying a lot, um, either with, you know, work taking on a lot They're They could even be a workaholic, you know, for some of you with the devil energy here, because the devil energy is very all-encompassing of things that we do outside or um, in excess, okay? So with the worry energy here, it says strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will, heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego, okay? And we also have advocate, inspires you to put compassion into action, okay? So somebody who cares about other people, Someone who is, you know, I feel like is going to make you feel safe, is going to make you feel um, secure here. Okay, so I do want to get this cleared away and then we are going to get into the second question. Um, what will your relationship be like with this person? Okay, pile number one. Second question. What will your connection or relationship be like with this person that you are meant to be with? What will your connection be like with them? What will your connection be like with this person? Wow. Okay. So we had a bunch of cards fly out here. Okay. So we'll start with these. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. And then we also have the Ace of Wands. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Swords underneath the deck. So, with the Queen of Swords here is the overall energy. What will your connection be like? What will your relationship be like with this person? With the Queen of Swords energy here, this could either be talking about you or this person. Okay? With the Queen of Swords energy, this is someone who has been hurt in the past. And because of that, they may be someone who's very guarded. You may feel very guarded. Um... I also feel, because the Queen of Swords is also someone who's very, very intelligent. Someone who's very smart. Someone who's very logical in thinking, perception, decision making. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, um, I feel like, I don't necessarily want to say it's going to be all rainbows and butterflies with the Wheel of Fortune. Because the Wheel of Fortune is really talking about karma. Okay, the ups and downs, the changes that take place with the wheel as it turns Sometimes in your favor, sometimes not in your favor. So with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like like any connection, any relationship, there are going to be ups and downs. Um, with the Five of Wands here, potentially, you know, for some of you, it could either be that there are challenges, there are disagreements. Um, we'll kind of look into what those are because the other energy that I'm getting from this Five of Wands is that there, because we have the Two of Wands here as well and the Ace. 
But with the Five of Wands and the Two of Wands, I kind of feel like this is something where either you or them is going to have to make some type of life changing decision choice with the two of wands here this is about either you or your person being at a crossroads so needing to make certain changes either into your life their life or for the two of you guys to have this connection together um for some of you with the two of wands here i do see this as maybe potentially a long distance connection um with the ace of wands here i also feel like it's going to be a connection that is very 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 passionate um, with the Page of Swords energy here, it could be that for some of you, I'm getting two different messages. For some of you, it could be that this person may come across or even you may come across your communication is needing to improve with between the two of you. Because with the Page of Swords here and the Five of Wands, I kind of feel like it may be that you and this person maybe feel a little bit skeptical about this connection and, and kind of wondering, is this the person I'm supposed to be with? Kind of questioning it because the Page of Swords is a very, very curious um, type of energy of someone who sometimes doesn't really know how to communicate in the best way. Um, so you could be feeling that way. Your person could be feeling that way. Um, so let's get a little bit more here. Let's see what this Wheel of Fortune energy is here. The Wheel of Fortune can also sometimes talk about many blessings um, that are coming in with this connection. Um, it may have some challenges, like I said, just like every other relationship, we have to work at them. Okay, so let's see. Where's this Wheel of Fortune here for pile number one? Where's this Wheel of Fortune here? Okay, so we do have Justice. Okay, so with the justice energy here, I do feel like this is going to be a connection that is very honest, very open. Um, let's get a little bit more. What is this page of swords energy here? Very fair, very balanced as well with the justice energy here. Okay, truth, fairness, equality between the two of you. Let's see what this page of swords energy. This person could also be a Libra. Okay, it's going to be different for all of you. It's a general reading. There's this Page of Swords energy. There's this Page of Swords for column number one. Okay, so we have the Six of Coins in reverse. I do want to get one more to clarify that. There's this Page of Swords for column number one. Okay, and we have the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay. So for some of you, especially if this is someone you already know who this person is, um, and you guys are working on your connection, your relationship with the Five of Swords in reverse, this is being able to resolve conflict, okay, by communicating. Um, I feel like with the Six of Coins here, something you guys may go through, and remember, this is, this is just a, a, a small glimpse into, this isn't talking about, you know, what you're going to experience your entire relationship, but this is just kind of spirit giving a little bit of, of a heads up of what may happen. And tarot is not set in stone. Always know that choices that you make, your person makes, we all have free will. If we're not liking the way that something is going. We change it up. Okay. So with the six of coins energy here, I do feel like Maybe initially, maybe sometime during the connection or relationship with the six of coins, there may be an imbalance in the way that you give love, your person gives love, but I feel like this is something that you're going to be able to quickly resolve because especially if you've been wounded, if your person's been wounded in the past, we have different ways of connecting. We have different ways of receiving love, of showing love, of of being able to receive the love that this new person or this person from our past is, is giving to us. Um, so there may be some type of understanding that you do have with this person of a, a sit down and a talk as you guys really get to know each other about, hey, you know, I really like it when you do this for me. I really like it when you do that. 
So with the Five of Swords being here in the reverse, I do see this as something that is very positive because you guys are going to be able to move past any of these disagreements, any of the arguments, being able to just kind of move on and resolve um, these things here. So let's see what this Two of Wands energy is here. You know, you talk about it, you be open about it, um, and you learn from being able to complete or to communicate with your person. Why is the Two of Wands here? Where's this Two of Wands for number one? Okay, so we've got the Ace of Cups. Okay, and then we've also got the King of Swords. Okay, so with that Ace of Cups, again, this is talking about a very, very deep love. Very deep love. Um, for some of you, it can even be new beginnings with this person. So for those of you who know this person, okay, with the Ace of Cups, this is talking about potentially new beginnings, a very healing energy, like I said in the beginning with the first question. The Ace of Cups is a very healing, loving, very deep sense of love with the Ace of Cups. But we also have the King of Swords here, okay? So this is about clear decisions choices someone who's very intelligent the communication that you guys will have will be very honest very straightforward especially with us having this justice energy for so for some of you this is really going to be you know maybe a breath of fresh air being able to have someone that you're able to communicate with so let's see what this five of wands energy here the five of wands could either be conflict between you and your person or it could either be inner conflict that you are dealing with your person's dealing with feeling conflicted um, and I feel like going back to this uh, angel message, this is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? So initially, you know, or even during the connection, there could be a miscommunication. There could be you guys learning how to, like I said, learning each other's love language. Um, and if you don't know what that is, just Google search and you'll try to, you'll see the differences between the way each person not every person is the same not every person gives or receives loves in the same way so it's important to understand and connect with your partner on that level um so that you make it past that initial stage at the beginning of a connection or revisiting an old connection and know how to communicate with each other in a way that is healthy okay so let's see what this five of wands energy is here What is the five of wands here for pal number one? Wow, we've got the sun. See? Look at that. So what I was saying is there may be this conflict, but regardless of that, the sun energy here is about joy, happiness, feeling content, feeling, you know, regardless of that. So being able to resolve, being able to move past it. I'm not going to say that it's going to be easy for you guys because it's always a challenge when you have a partner and you guys are really learning and growing with each other. Um, okay, we've got the Queen of Swords again. Okay, and then we've got the King of Cups clarifying this Ace of Wands here. So with the King of Cups, this is a very strong emotional bond between you and this person okay it could either be that the person that you're connecting to is this person who is very sensitive very compassionate very loving and you may be coming in as this queen of swords someone who has lost trust lost faith in the past because of the way that you may have been wronged in the past toxic relationships you've moved away from so i feel like this person is going to provide this energy is beautiful I feel like this person is going to make you feel safe, make you feel secure, make you feel loved. There may be some of those challenges in, you know, either in the beginning or as you are working through to really, you know, essentially unpack all of your emotional baggage that you're carrying along with you. And hopefully when you are connecting and meeting with this person, whether it's a soulmate, a twin flame, the label doesn't really matter. It is about your connection with that person. But I feel like with the King of Cups here, this is a very mature, mature, loving, beautiful energy here. 
And with the Queen of Swords, I also feel like it's just going to be a, a connection for you and this person. Definitely a counterpart because we do have the King and the Queen here. Okay? King and Queen here. I feel like this person, your connection, your... Your... I almost feel like you guys are going to have like this very beautiful finishing each other's sentences um, type of connection. Just really beautiful. Being able to just, any argument, any fight you guys have is going to be something that you guys are able to resolve very, very quickly and not like sit and create all of this, you know, ugliness of being upset with each other. Um, underneath the deck, we do have the world. Okay, so with that world energy there, like I said, for some of you, it could be that this person is at a distance. This person is someone who um, is a different culture, is a different nationality. Okay, so pile number one, what will your connection or relationship be like with the person you are meant to be with? Very sensitive, very caring, intelligent communication, very smart. We have centering, okay? So I definitely feel like it's going to be something, like I said, that keeps you very grounded, that brings it, brings it on down for you. How number one, what will your connection be like with this person? Will your connection be like with this person? Pile number one. Okay, wow. Truth. Okay, so like I said, very open, very honest with this person. Okay, we also have union, union that popped up. Okay. So very, very beautiful. Some of you with this union energy here, I'm also getting a very spiritual vibe from this. Okay. Very spiritual connection between you and this person. Wow. We have new beginnings at the bottom. Okay. And with, wow, because we've got the world energy here at the bottom of our tarot. And then we've got new beginnings at the bottom. The world energy is about completing cycles to allow for new beginnings. So some of you where you where this is a twin flame or this is someone that you know, you could be having a beautiful new start with this person in which maybe in the past, you know, there was a lot of that thing, you know, a lot of that craziness that you guys are really kind of working through. Um, but this is, I feel like with the new beginnings here, it's a beautiful new start um, with this person. Time, kind of like starting this next chapter um, in your life. Okay. So we've got she who rises up, empower, uplift, and elevate. Okay. So from this connection, you guys can see that this way. <laughs> I have to get used to this. Um, that this connection is going to be one that if you are coming in, as that empress in reverse like we saw earlier and not feeling the most confident i feel like this person is going to build you up this person is going to provide a lot of healing um up empowering uplifting and elevating okay it could even be that you guys are doing this with each other that this is really going to be a connection who is meant to bring you up so if like i said if you are with someone right now where this person that you might have in your mind is not that then it's not that person where this is talking about a completely different person. Okay. For some of you. What will Pal number one's connection be like with this person? Okay. We've got she who waits. Patience, waiting, and determination. Okay. So I also feel like this person will be someone who is very patient. The two of you guys together. Okay, that is where this justice energy comes in because it is providing a lot of that equal give and take. At the beginning, like I said, with the six of coins here in reverse and the five of swords in reverse, it may kind of feel like, what are we doing? What is this, you know? 
this person is upsetting me or, you know, you're upsetting your person. But I feel like it is truly going to bring you out of that place where you no longer feel defeated. You no longer feel like you're stuck in the past mindset of feeling like someone, you're never going to find this person. Or that this person is going to be someone who makes you feel just so loved. Um, underneath the deck, we do have she who grants wishes, wish, desires, and hope. Okay? Wish, desires, and hope. So I feel like this is truly going to be someone who there is a lot of that very loving, passionate type of energy. Someone you have been and trying to remain very optimistic and hopeful. It could even be that the two of you guys have that beautiful energy with each other. That even if there are those challenges at the beginning of the connection, that you guys are able to still look and be in love with each other and, and think about things logically and being able to resolve conflict um, very quickly, okay? Getting past it, not creating a bunch of chaotic craziness. Let's get these last messages for you, pal number one. So pal number one, what will your connection or relationship be like with this person you are meant to be with? What will your connection be like with this person? What will your connection be like? Wow, we've got synchronicity here. Okay, so for some of you, that may be confirmation with this person that if you are starting to see things synchronistically with this person or on your own, it could be that you're needing, for some of you, because it's different for all of you, for some of you it could be that you're needing to let go of a karmic partner, of a karmic cycle, pass through this karmic cycle, and coming into alignment with a twin or with a soulmate, and you're starting to see all of these synchronistic type of things. I also get this because we're asking here, what will your connection be like? Okay, so I also feel like it'll be a connection that is filled with synchronicities. One that not only you are noticing, but that your person is noticing as well. Okay, we do also have unlocked here. Okay, so I feel like this, with this unlocked here, it's, I feel like, very beautiful energy from this. It's really about this person unlocking you, changing things, making you feel like your perception has changed about love. It could even be that their perception when meeting you, when connecting with you, when the two of you guys coming together, that it is really unlocking a lot. This connection, I, I don't know. This this is this is like almost making me feel like I want to cry. Like this this energy feels so beautiful. Like this this connection is going to be something that is very transformative, not only for you but also for them. It's kind of like your heart. Their heart is something that is being unlocked. I feel like it's going to be a connection that is very unparalleled to anything that you've ever, ever experienced, anything that they've ever experienced. And I kind of feel like it's going to be something that may even catch you off guard, may even catch them off guard. It's going to be something truly, truly beautiful, very blissful. Okay. The sun energy there. divine timing again and that was that same kind of message that we had a little bit earlier with the clock on it okay so i feel like spirit like for those of you that are feeling when is this person going to be here why why haven't why haven't i met them yet i don't have anybody in my life i feel like this is spirit saying to be patient okay this person is on their way okay for some of you it is going to be about closing out those karmic cycles from the past learning the lessons okay sometimes we're needing to go through some crazy stuff okay so this message we have here it says mourning here okay so it's essentially mourning the loss of a partner you can see this kind of like this ghost of a person that is no longer there so for some of you it can literally be for some of you that you have lost this partner okay um, this person was a twin or this person was a soulmate for you and this person has passed, okay? 
For others of you, it could be that this is a past relationship, a past connection. Okay. Um, it could also be that this person has had a spouse that passed. Okay. Has already had a connection or a relationship because we have, it's, you know, mourning. So it could literally be that either you or this person has gone through something like that. Um, something traumatic. Um, for others of you, there could be this feeling within you that you know that your person is coming and you can almost feel, I feel like maybe their presence in the 5D, you could be dreaming about them. For some of you, I even get this message that throughout a lot of either your life or your person's life, there has always been this sense of emptiness in which you feel like even if you are in a connection or relationship you still felt like there was someone else more meant for you so it can even be this feeling of of missing someone even though you haven't met them yet for some of you okay it's kind of like you're 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 mourning the loss of this person you're literally feeling like your significant other is missing is not there and there's just like this a lot of I feel like pain or sadness or grieving and even though you were in a relationship or connection you still feel that emptiness okay for some of you are feeling that so let's get one more what will this connection be like it could even be that that you or this person has lost someone look at that this is so beautiful uplift here okay Again, so talking about this very uplifting, beautiful type of connection with this person. It could even be that this person has lost a spouse, has lost a family member, a mother, um, someone significant. You may have gone through that situation. Um, you know, for some of you, it can even be a, cha a, a family member, close family member, children, but not for all of you, but oh my gosh, you guys, this is so, so beautiful here. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I loved doing this for you guys today. I know you guys were excited about this one. Um, if, for those of you that are new to the channel, please subscribe if you guys have not done so already. Um, and for those of you that are wanting to book private readings with me, just send me an email, moonmothgoddess at gmail.com. And I will get you set up with my soonest availability and let you know what the... Um, prices are for that so thank you guys so much thank you pal one and i will see you guys in the next reading hello pal number two so for those of you that have been following me or subscribed already you know that this is something new um i no don't normally do my readings this way but i wanted to since there's so many new subscribers um i wanted to give you guys all a chance to see who i am um, instead of just always seeing my tattooed hands all the time, but, um, I'm trying out the reading this way. I'm just kind of clearing from the last reading here. So we have a very important reading today. We're going to find out who you're meant to be with. For those of you that resonated with the ethereal visions, um, I do have all of my decks behind me. Um, they're pretty messy right now, so I do apologize for my mess, but I do know where everything is. <laughs> so that's the important thing when I'm doing these readings for you guys. So if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. Okay. I'm not sure how often I will be able to do these readings. Um, like I said, this is the first time I'm trying it this way with a picker card. I've done live streams like this, but... Um, not with pick a card, so the lighting is not the greatest, um, but we're working on it, okay? So pile number two, pile number two, who are you meant to be with? Okay, wow, we've got the six of wands here, okay? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy here. Um, do you want to get some more before I say anything? Who is pile number two meant to be with? Who is 
from the two meant to be with. Okay, we have, what is this? The Knight of Swords. Okay. Let's have the two meant to be with. Okay. Wow, we've got the Nine of Swords energy here. Let's see what that is about. We'll get clarification on all of these energies here. Ooh, we've got the Ten of Wands. Who are you meant to be with? Pile number two. Who are you meant to be with? We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So what I'm kind of getting from this energy so far, I kind of feel like whoever this person is, either you or this person right now, um, for some of you, you could already know who this person is. Some of you could be someone completely new. But with the Nine of Swords energy here, it could either be that you or this person. And, uh, Nine of Swords is about fear, anxiety, worry. Sleepless nights, stressing out. Um, we've got the Ten of Wands here as well. And with that Ten of Wands, it can feel very overwhelming, very like, you know, sometimes burdensome, like you're carrying a lot of weight, being stressed out. Um, so the main energy that I'm feeling here in this pile, pile number two, is that this may be a situation in which you and this person have been together previously. However, some of you may not be that. Um, because we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Okay? And the Seven of Pentacles is sometimes feeling disappointed with the way that things are developing, the way that things are growing, the way that things are evolving. And it's also asking you to be very patient. Okay? So some of you may feel... Like you were kind of waiting for this person to come into your life. And it may make you feel right now tired, stressed out, feeling like, is this person ever going to be here? Is this person ever going to come with the Nine of Swords? Like for some of you who, you know who this person is already, you kind of have this gut feeling that you know that this is your person. Um, it could be saying that, you know, you may or may not be in contact with this person. And it may be making you feel very overwhelmed, very stressed out. It may be that you guys are trying to work on things with each other or that the way that you guys were working on things wasn't quite helping things to move ahead as quickly as maybe you've liked. Um, with the Six of Wands energy here, I do feel like this is talking about a lot of recognition. Um, it's sometimes some type of victory or achievement, something that you guys will be either celebrating together. It could even be that um, m being with this person makes you feel, you know, it could be that other people look at you guys as something very, you know, kind of like when you look at people and they're kind of like they're the power couple. Um, the Six of Wands, because it is about a recognition, achievements, victory, and other people kind of look at that connection as something that is very significant. Um, so it could be either that this person is someone who is in the public eye, someone who other people respect, someone who other people look up to, someone who works very hard to... Um, achieve certain things, milestones, things like that. So it could either be either one of you um, with that. Um, we have the Knight of Swords energy here as well. So with the Knight of Swords energy here, I also feel that this person could be someone who is um, fearless, someone who makes decisions, takes action very quickly. Um, it could also be for some of you with the Knight of Swords energy here that this person you know, does suffer from anxiety. It's not going to be that for all of you. But I feel like this person really challenges themselves. They take on a lot. I put like feel like they put they are someone who puts a lot of pressure on themselves. With the Ten of Wands here, um, for some of you, it may even be that this person feels like they need to accomplish a lot. They put a lot of stress, a lot of things that they take on. Um, so let's get a little bit more. Let's see what the Six of Wands energy is here. And we have the Two of Swords. Okay. Let's get one more. What is this Six of Wands? Okay, 
So we do have a judgment. Wow, and we have justice. Okay. So judgment and justice there with the the six of wands here with the two of swords. Okay. So with the two of swords energy here, this is some type of decision or choice. I feel like it could either be for you or for this person. It could also be someone who, who, I feel kind of this energy of this person kind of reinventing themselves. Like they're constantly trying to do better. Um, with the justice energy here as well, with the, as well as judgment. For some of you, like I said, I get this feeling that you know who this person is already. And with the judgment energy here, this really is about making the decision maybe to forgive, to release, to heal, to have some type of new beginning. So it could even be that this person and you have a past together for some of you. Okay. But the justice energy here as well, I also see that this person is someone who is wanting truth, wanting fairness. Um... Some of you, this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarian. We got strong Libra energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see what this Knight of Swords energy is here. Okay. Wow, we got the Two of Wands. Okay. So I feel like this person, for some of you, this person could be at a distance from you. Okay, some of you, this could be someone who lives at a distance. Um, it could also be that this person is kind of like at a crossroads in their life. You could feel that way. For some of you, there's distance between you and this person. Either that that is physical distance or there is like... For some of you, it may even be that there's a lack of communication or no communication with this person right now. Okay, so let's see what this Nine of Swords energy is here. And we've got, wow, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like for some of you, with this Ten of Pentacles here, you could be really worried that if this person is going to come in, I'm getting this energy. That this person, either you or someone's worried about commitment. The Ten of Pentacles here, this is about stability, security, family, marriage, having like all of that. And it, with the nine of swords here, someone's worried about it. So it could even be a situation of wondering whether or not you and this person is going to have a relationship or a connection or if this person is the one. For some of you, I feel like with the knight of swords energy here, that this person could kind of be in this place where they may not be someone who is necessarily ready for commitment or ready for settling down. And either this makes you nervous, this makes this person nervous. They're kind of like in this split decision. Do I or don't I? I feel like kind of energy here. So let's see what this Ten of Wands energy is here. Whoa. Okay, so we've got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords energy, and we also have the King of Swords in reverse. I don't know if I like that, but I kind of feel that maybe this person I feel like this person has a tendency I, I feel like there is like commitment like you're not sure if this person is is going to commit or they're kind of like for some of for some of you it could even be that this person is playing games this person's unsure about whether or not they want to settle down i feel like this person kind of keeps things to themselves with the 7 of swords here the king of swords in reverse here i kind of feel like this is a person who may not be thinking rationally, especially with this having the Knight of Swords energy here, which can sometimes be when someone is 
making decisions very quickly and their behavior may come off as very reckless because they are quickly making decisions and choices here that you're you're not sure about they're not sure about for some of you um not for all of you okay so don't get mad at me but with the seven of swords here sometimes the seven of swords can talk about deception betrayal hiding things even moving too quickly without a plan with the seven of swords and i feel like this is something that is overwhelming okay so let's see what this ten or what is this the seven of pentacles wow we've got the magician okay so with this magician energy here I feel like this person has a very powerful presence. We've got the Ace of Pentacles underneath the deck. I feel like this person has a very, like, they are, they could be someone who's very attractive. Um, I feel like this person is kind of worried. It could either be that they're worried of whether or not you are going to be someone who wants to commit, someone who wants to settle down, because it could also be you as well. Um, but it can also be that this person... is having to now make this decision in their life. It could be that they are at a crossroads in their life where they're choosing or making some type of decision which direction they're really wanting to go in. I do want to clarify this Seven of Swords and make sure it's not some funny business. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. So I kind of feel with the Queen of Cups here, it is, I feel like, reassuring because I don't like that Seven of Swords. Um, let's see what this King of Swords in reverse is. could even be fear with the seven of seven of swords sometimes people can feel nervous about trusting nervous about getting cheated on nervous about um just trusting in general what is this king of swords energy here oh okay so we've got the ace of swords queen of wands ten of cups okay and then we had one that flew on the floor. So let me get this. Okay, we've got the six of pentacles here. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, for some of you, because we have the queen of wands energy here and the king of swords in reverse, ten of cups, queen of cups. I almost get this feeling that this person is, and now this is, it may be you, it may be this person, whoever this person is for you. But with the Queen of Cups energy here, here there is a very loving, warm, nurturing energy here with the Queen of Cups. Okay? Someone very compassionate, someone very sensitive, someone very caring. And we have the Queen of Wands here. So I almost get this feeling, we have the Ten of Cups as well, that this person is someone who wants stability, someone who wants security. They want to have their person. They want to have that someone. Um, but I also feel like there's a lot of heaviness that they will be working to kind of move through. With the King of Swords energy here in the reverse, I kind of feel like your person may be kind of feeling a little bit skeptical about trusting maybe love again maybe because they've been hurt in the past or you've been hurt in the past we have the ten of cups here so i feel like this is someone who's going to want a family someone who's going to want marriage someone who's going to want all of that i feel like it's going to be something that is very passionate Okay, but the Six of Pentacles energy here, this is also telling you that your person is going to be someone who is very giving with their time, with their energy. Okay, let's get a little bit more. What is this Two of Swords? I want to know what this choice or this decision is with this justice, judgment... Why is this two of swords here? 
some type of maybe inner. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Two of cups. Okay. So for some of you, like I said, this person is someone who you may know from the past. Okay. I feel like there's a very strong spiritual connection between you and this person. It could either be that you and this person already know each other from your past, or this could be a past life connection that in this incarnation. So things are going to feel very familiar with this person. Um, the decision here with the two of swords and two of cups is the relationship. Okay, so for some of you, it could be that you are forgiving the past, letting go of the past. It could even be that you guys ha are moving through a lot of challenging situations. Um, some of you are maybe even just kind of watching this video because you want to know if the current person that you're with is the person that you're supposed to be with. So I kind of also get this energy that they're maybe some concerns of whether or not you guys are going to last or unless you guys are going to make it. And you may have even been questioning this partnership or this relationship, but with the two of cups energy here and the two of swords, I kind of feel like either this person or you is feeling <clears throat> whether or not you want this relationship or connection. And with the Two of Cups being here, I feel like this is a strong soulmate connection. Okay? It could be a soulmate. It could be Twin Flame. However you feel you connect with whatever verbiage is there. Um, I definitely feel there's past life energy here. Okay? I do feel like this person and you with the, with the, the Six of Wands here, I kind of feel this energy of the two of you guys being able to really be very successful with the relationship. Yes, there may be, if you guys, and we're not even at that question yet, because the next question is going to be about how the relationship's going to be. But I kind of feel that maybe this person is feeling a little bit conflicted about whether or not they want to be in a relationship. Um, I feel like this connection between you and this person is going to be very, very strong. Um, with the Six of Pentacles energy here, this is talking about a very good balance of... Um, Give and take. Reciprocity happening in the connection. Lots of passion. I feel like this person is going to be someone who does want to settle down. There's someone who wants this, you know, beautiful ending here. With the Ten of Wands. You want to get one more for that Ten of Wands there. So it could either be you feel conflicted about this person. Some of you may even feel like this person is a little bit self-centered. That's not going to be for all of you, but some of you may feel like that with the Six of Wands there. Like this person's very focused on themselves. And you may be questioning like, is this person want to be with me or not? Um, for others of you, it is about a victory, a success, an achievement. Being able to bring a fresh new energy in with this judgment card here into the relationship justice balance being found with this connection so i also feel like it is going to be someone who brings a lot of balance um into the connection okay it could be that this person makes you feel loved i just feel with this king of swords in reverse being here that this person may kind of feel a little bit uneasy about um, like long-term commitment it may be something that kind of scares them or stresses them out okay so pile number two who is pile number two meant to be with who is pile number two meant to be with what is this the ace the ace of pentacles okay so with this Ace of Pentacles here, I feel like this person is going to be divinely guided into your life. With the Aces, this is talking about blessings. This is talking about the two of you guys being able to come together to start something. Grounding. New beginnings here. I feel like the universe kind of bringing the two of you together here. Wait, wow, we have the world underneath. Okay. 
So with that world energy there, for some of you, this person could be at a distance. For some of you, it could be about new beginnings, closing out cycles from the past, being able to have um, new beginnings there. Okay. Looks like we pretty much have all the signs here. We do have strong Libra energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So Gemini, Libra. Pretty much everything is here. Okay, so let's get a little bit more. We'll see who this person is. And like I said, general reading, guys. So if it doesn't resonate, you can go ahead and choose a different pile. Okay, or check out the other readings that I have in a Pick a Card playlist for you guys. So pile number two. Who are you meant to be with, pile number two? Who are you meant to be with? Wow. What was I saying about that past life connection? This vintage card here with these two little bottles of wine here. This card is, is about past life, past life connection. So like I said, I feel like there's gonna be a sense of familiarity with this person. Some of you maybe with this Nine of Swords, this could even be some type of dream. Because if you look at this card, this Nine of Swords here, there's all these like, it looks like maybe ancestors and they could be kind of guiding. I don't know if you guys can see that. This lighting is not the best. But it's kind of like you guys might be having dreams about this person. With the Nine of Swords here. But with the vintage energy here. It's either that you guys have had a past together. Or you guys know each other. Or there's a past life um, type of energy here. Especially with this judgment card, okay? Judgment is about rebirth, renewal, forgiveness, letting go of the past, past life connection. Pile number two, who are you meant to be with? Wow. We have future here, okay? With that beautiful road there. So I feel like for, for some of you, like I said, this is really spirit telling you to be patient because this could be something that is not happening right away. This could be something that spirit is still saying. Don't worry about it. Don't feel so stressed out about it. Don't feel kind of overwhelmed and putting yourself under so much stress and pressure. Trust the process because with the seven of pentacles here, this is maybe even feeling disappointed. Your person feeling disappointed about where things are going. Have they... You know, you guys not met each other yet, or for some of you who are not even dating anybody right now, I feel like this is Spirit saying here that this is something that is going to happen in the future, but be patient, okay? Don't get stressed out over why haven't I met my person, why hasn't this person come in my life, because this person is going to be someone who I'm seeing family, pets, house, all of these things. You guys have both the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here, Okay? So just allow for some time, I feel like, for those of you that are feeling like, where is my person at? Okay. Who are you meant to be with? Wow, we have clarity here. Okay. So it could also be that this clarity is being gained over the way that this person feels about you, telling feelings, emotions. Because with this King of Swords in reverse, this is someone who's not thinking logically or someone who's not thinking clearly. And it could be because their things are still kind of up in the air with either you or this person. But we also have the Ace of Swords. So this is clarity being gained about this connection, about feelings, about emotions. Um, who are you meant to be with? Wow, we have opportunity. Opportunity knocking here. So I feel like, like I said, with this Ace of Pentacles here... That this is the universe kind of bringing this person in at the right time. Okay? The opportunity here. Let's get one more. Who are you meant to be with? I feel like as well with the... Wow. Whoa, what did I say? Look at this. Past life. Okay? Old souls with the vintage. 
past life. Okay? So, like I said, I feel like this is going to be a connection that you don't know who this person is. Or this person's presence is going to be something that when you do connect with them. Or even, for some of you, you may even have that feeling right now. Like, you already know. There's that sense of familiarity with this person. You're having dreams. Some of you may even not know who this person is right now. And you may be kind of feeling like, I'm having dreams about my person already. I feel this person's presence in the 5D. You may be kind of nervous or kind of freaked out even for some of you, but I feel like this is really spirit telling you that clarity is going to be gained with the situation. Things may be unclear right now with this King of Swords in reverse. You may be kind of feeling your way through things, especially with the Seven of Swords. You may be trying to really either rush through relationships or connections or kind of feel like worried, feeling stressed out, feeling burdened. But I feel like this connection between you and this person is going to be something that is very, very strong. Like you guys, you will know when this person is around. You will have the opportunity to connect with this person sometime in the future. Okay, but it is about being patient. You may be unhappy with your love life right now, but I feel like spirit is saying, use your intuition, trust you, trust yourself. This person with the two of cups there is going to be a very strong soulmate or twin flame. So pile number two, who are you meant to be with? Wow, we have new love here. Okay, so for some of you, it could be that this person is new. For some of you, it could be that the two of you guys, if, if you know who this person is, you guys, you're already identifying who this person is. For some of you, it could be that this person and you are giving the connection another chance, especially with the judgment energy, because this is talking about forgiveness. This is talking about releasing the past, being able to kind of wipe the slate clean and have some type of a fresh start okay so it could also be that you and this person do have a future together clarity is going to be gained with this there could be an opportunity for the two of you guys to connect with each other in the future who are you meant to be with um, the two wow this is so beautiful true love okay it says this this is the romance of a lifetime this is beautiful. Pile number ones was beautiful too. We have passion here. Okay. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy underneath the deck. Let go of control issues. Okay. So some of you may be trying to force a situation with a specific person that you feel is your soulmate, is your twin flame, is going to be your life partner. But I feel like this message, it says, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay? So this is requiring patience, trust, faith that this opportunity will take place. Like I said, we have this opportunity here. We have this Ace of Pentacles, which are these divinely guided blessings. So this person will be, okay, coming in. But it is about patience, being able to kind of work through that. Um... Okay, so let's get this cleared away. Um, and then the second question for you guys is going to be, what will your connection, your relationship be like with this person? Okay, pile number two. So what will your relationship or connection be like with this person? We've got the Page of Swords. What will your relationship or connection be like? I feel like with the Page of Swords energy here, it is going to be kind of a, a, a learning experience. Um, healing. We've got the Three of Swords here. Okay. So I don't necessarily want to say that this is going to be a connection that is going to break your heart. I feel like it's more so going to be one that is going to teach you to heal from things that you have gone through in the past. Maybe even things that this person has gone through in the past. We do also have the five of wands here, okay? Much like I told pal number one, every relationship has its challenges, okay? 
So it could be that there are some challenges, especially when it comes to healing. Um, with the Page of Swords energy here as well, I also kind of see that as, you know, a learning experience for both of you. Both of you may have been hurt, very wounded in the past with things. Um, and the Page of Swords is more of a very skeptical type of energy. So it could even be that there is part of you that feels like, do I trust? Do I trust this person? Um, it may even be that this person is not sure whether or not to trust themselves. Um, so I definitely feel like it is going to be a connection where there is a lot of learning. There is a lot of healing. Um, the Five of Wands could even be talking about inner conflict that you might be dealing with, okay? Or this person may be dealing with. So what will tell me the truth relationship or connection be like with this person? Oh my gosh. Look at that. We've got the lovers. Okay. So twin flame, soulmate, um, type of energy, learning, healing. Okay. Evolving, growing. Okay. Let's get one more. What will your connection be like? So I'm definitely seeing this as something that is very spiritual in nature with the lovers energy here. Could be twin flame, could be soulmate. But with the lover's energy here, this is also very much talking about the two of you guys having a very strong physical, sexual, um, emotional, very fulfilling, very beautiful type of connection. We also have the Page of Wands here, okay? So I also feel like with the Page of Wands energy that this is also going to be a connection that is rewarding and that both of you will feel that it's fun it is something and if you don't feel like especially if you already know who this person is um the page of wands is about that sense of adventures for free spiritedness and just kind of wanting to start down a new path a new journey um so i feel like it is going to be rewarding yes especially if it is a twin flame it could be something that proves to be very challenging maybe even causing pain in the beginning especially while the two of you guys are focusing on healing Okay, um, we do have the Knight of Pentacles underneath the deck. Okay, so with this, I'm seeing that this Knight of Pentacles energy is something of determination, success, fulfillment, um, being able to move forward very slowly with your person. It could even be that this person takes some time to, to do their own healing care. Okay, I'm also seeing we have the Three of Cups underneath that. Wow, and the Four of Wands. Okay, Three of Cups under that. Four of Wands under that. So the 11-11 there in the Four of Wands. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who wants to take things slow. Okay, someone who wants to make sure that you guys are ready. So it could even be that this person is taking some time. Or that if this is a Twin Flame that because you guys are learning from this, you guys are healing, you guys are evolving, you guys are growing, um, that it may take some time for this person and you to feel like you're ready. Um, with the Four of Wands here, I also see that this is something that is going to prove to be something very stable, very secure. I do see marriage, um, happiness, celebration with the Three of Cups. For some of you, we could even be talking about reconciliation, especially if you already know who this person is. Okay, so let's get some clarification. We'll see what this Page of Wands is here. And we have the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, so some of you, or even this person, may be kind of ignoring signs. It could even be that your person is ignoring signs that you are their twin flame or that you are their soulmate. Because there is this wounding here with the Three of Swords, okay? So this lack of trust here and just being very skeptical about things with the Page of Swords, okay? So someone here, either you or your person with the High Priestess energy here, could be not trusting themselves, not trusting their intuition, not trusting their gut feelings. And I feel like it is because of wounding from the past. So especially if this is a Twin Flame or even a soulmate for you, this connection is going to provide a lot of that healing energy with the Three of Swords. Okay. So let's get one more for this Page of Swords energy here. And we have Temperance. Okay. So healing, balance. 
that this connection is going to bring in here. Let's see what this High Priestess in Reverse is. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay? The Seven of Wands here is about trying to... Feeling the defensive. Okay? So it could even be that you were, your person is feeling very guarded. Feeling very, you know, because maybe there has been pain in the past. Whether it's with this person... Or whether it's something that you've experienced in the past. That seven of wands can make, make, you, make you feel like you've lost faith or lost hope. And kind of feeling like you right now, you guys are focusing on healing. You guys are focusing on finding balance. Learning to trust. Okay, let's see what this three of swords energy is here. We have the emperor. Okay. So... With the Emperor energy here, I feel like this is counterpart energy here. I also feel like this is something where this person is going to be very strong, okay? Mentally, um, the Emperor is someone who is very decisive, taking action. Someone who is very logical in thinking. They see bigger picture perspective, way of thinking. The Emperor energy is also someone who wants commitment, loyalty um so i feel like this connection is also going to teach you <clears throat> maybe not every partner that you've had in the past you know especially if you're you know guilty of any self-limiting beliefs in which feeling like every partner is going to be the same every partner is going to bring in that same energy um and make you feel like you can't trust or even that this person is feeling this way um, the Emperor energy is also someone who doesn't necessarily open up with their feelings, with their emotions, but they are someone who is very committed and very loyal, okay? So it could even be that this person is the one who had been very hurt in the past. They are still healing. They may come across as a little bit guarded, um, but the Emperor is someone who definitely wants this long-term commitment. So let's see what this Five of Wands energy is here. And we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. So with this Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like there's a lot of imbalance in feelings and emotions. And it may have to do because of the wounding that has happened. I do want to get one more. Where's this Five of Wands here? Three of Cups. Okay. So if this is a past connection and you already know who this person is, um... There could be a lot of sadness, a lot of a depression. For some of you with this Three of Cups, it's not going to be for everybody, but with the Three of Cups energy here, I also see this as some of you maybe even feeling like your twin flame or the person that you're connected with could be in another connection, another relationship. Some of you focusing on wanting to have reconciliation with this person, which I do feel is something that is going to happen. But with the Queen of Cups here in reverse, sometimes it can be a hot mess of feelings and emotions that make you feel like even that you guys are arguing fighting trying to heal trying to get past things so let's see what this lover's energy here is wow we've got the ace of cups and we have the seven of cups okay so with the seven of cups energy here this is i feel like talking about maybe dreams that you may be having of this person um we have the ace of cups here as well okay so with this Ace of Cups energy here, I feel like for some of you, it is going to be new beginnings with this person. Um, for others of you, I do see this as a very deep love with this person that also provides a lot of very healing energy here. Let's see what this Page of Wands. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles. And then we also have the Ace of Wands here. So I do feel like it is going to be... Something that is very passionate. With the two of wands here, you guys may also kind of deal with, just like I said to pile one, a lot of the ups and downs with things and really trying to bring balance and healing um, into this connection. We have our knight of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like it is going to teach you a lot of patience with each other. Being able to resolve conflict, being able to bring harmony and balance and really focusing on healing. I do want to get one more for the Three of Swords. 
What does this three of swords energy here? Six of swords. Okay. So we're moving on from the pain, from the heartache, focusing. Um, and I feel like a big part of this is going to be you trusting that this person is going to be wanting to take care of you. Um, the Six of Swords is about moving on from something that is no longer serving you. So whether or not this is from the past heartache or this is moving on from things, challenges, struggles that you guys have gone through in the past. Okay, so let's get into our oracle messages. So pile number two. What will your relationship and connection be like with this person? The person you're meant to be with, what will your relationship and connection be like? Wow, beautiful. New beginnings. Okay, so some of you, if you don't know who this person is or not dating anyone, then this is really about you being able to heal and move on from the past and to allow for new beginnings next chapter okay with this person for others of you it could be reconciliation with a person being able to forgive and let go of the past finding balance being able to trust being able to heal for some of you it could even be with the seven of cups here and the lovers energy it is that there is still you know feeling confused about this feeling confused about the connection um maybe even your person kind of feeling that way Okay, sometimes if people are not, you know, if it is a twin flame for those of you that are on that journey, sometimes not everyone, you know, is is aware of the significance of those type of connections. So when you tell someone and they've never, you know, especially if they're not spiritual and they don't know what it is and they feel like you're crazy, like, what are you talking about? What do you mean I'm your twin flame? Um... Maybe because that person is unawakened. Um, so there may be, you know, a lot of confusion that is still happening within that connection. But with the Ace of Cups here, this is talking about a very deep love, a very unconditional love. Um, and this connection also providing a lot of he um, healing energy here. So what will your connection or relationship be like with this person? Dreams. Okay. So with that Seven of Cups energy, you could be having a lot of dreams of this person. Okay? Dreams of each other. Dreams in the 5D. Even if you don't know who this person is yet. We've got Sanctuary here. Okay? So with the Sanctuary energy, as far as our question, we're asking about what type of connection or what this relationship is going to be like. We've got Gentleness at the bottom. Okay? So with the sanctuary type of energy, it's really talking about this connection being something that is very healing, something that provides a lot of being able to feel relaxed, being able to feel whole, being able to feel complete, being able to trust, being able to love again. Okay. So pile number two, what will your relationship or connection be like with this person? What will your relationship be like? We've got she who yearns. Yearn, longing, and pine for. Okay? So with this energy here, this is talking about someone who is missing. Someone who's thinking. So I kind of get this energy from this that you and this person, when you are connecting with each other, there, like I said earlier, there is going to be that sense of familiarity. Um, and I feel like when you are connecting, it's kind of like there's going to be, you're going to feel very connected to this person. Um, longing, wanting to be around this person, feeling very close, feeling very connected to them on an emotional, on a spiritual level. Okay. What will this connection be like? Okay. So we also have she who surrenders, chains, bondage, and release. Okay, so this is for both of you, I feel like this connection is going to put you in a place where you're learning to trust. You're learning to trust the universe. You're learning to release the things, the mindset, 
the emotions, the feelings, anything that is kind of keeping you in that place that is stuck, making you feel small, making you feel like something has a hold on you. This is about you surrendering, your person surrendering and just trusting with this connection. We also have she who whispers here with secrets, confessions and confidant here. Okay, so I also feel like it is going to be something that you feel a, a sense of, of, of love, a sense of trust um, with this person. Okay. So let's get your last messages. Tile number two. What is this connection going to be like for you? With the person you're meant to be with, what will your relationship with them be like? What will your relationship be like? Wow. We have stolen here. Okay. So there's an image there of a couple there with that stolen energy. So I kind of feel like maybe for some of you, like I said, all of you may not be in that situation. But for some of you, it could be where you are winning this person back. You're allowing this person back into your heart. For some of you, you could have moved on to a different connection. They could have been in a different connection right now. Um, and it may be that you guys are reconnecting with each other. For others of you, I look at this as a message of this person really being that one for you. That is completely captivating you. Still in your heart um, in some way. Just risking you away and you're never to be seen or heard from again. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Okay. So we've got mourning here. Okay. And actually this, this card came out in pile number one too. Okay. Um, with this image here, there is someone who is missing. Okay. So, wow. We've got, we've got mourning and we've got stolen. Okay. So some of you, like I said, it could be a situation in which you moved on to a different connection. They moved on to a different connection. Maybe you feel for some of you, it is a third party situation, not for all of you, but you could be kind of feeling like this person is missing. You felt like maybe this other third party situation or whatever it is kind of stole this person away from you. And you are either still in this place or they are still in this place where they are mourning the loss of you or you are mourning the loss of them. You feel this sense of emptiness without them. Um, and that is why we have this yearning and longing and pining for. It's kind of like you feel that there's such a strong connection between you and this person that you're still thinking about them. This person is still in your, with this chains and bondage here as well. For some of you, it could even be that because you and this person may be in a different, for some of you, different connections right now. But there is something about this person that has you captivated. There is something about this person that is keeping you in their energy. Okay? So some of you, it, it could be. A third party situation and maybe your person has moved on to a different relationship and you are still feeling that that missing them feeling connected to them feeling like this is your person okay for some of you with the morning like i told pile number one it could even literally be that you had your twin flame um or your soulmate, or your person you were meant to be with. And for some of you, you know, because I know that some of you have that situation that your person has passed on, okay? And so there is that sense of emptiness that this was your person, um, and you are literally mourning the loss of this person, okay? With that mourning type of energy there for some of you that are dealing with that. Um, we also have love ignites here. Okay. So this is things kind of really taken off for some of you others with the morning here as well. And I think I said this earlier, there is that sense of emptiness. There is this sense of someone missing, even for those of you where you don't even know who this person is yet. You haven't met them. It could be feeling a sense of emptiness, or they could even be feeling a sense of 
emptiness, even though they're in relationship or they're, they're dating other people, no matter who you connect with or no matter who they connect with, you guys still feel like there's someone else out there for you. That maybe the person that you're with isn't the right one and you're still waiting for this person. Okay? So some of you, it could even be that situation. You still, you see this person in your dreams. We have honor yourself. Okay? So I also feel like this person is going to teach you, like I said, with the Page of Swords, this is going to be a connection in which this is really helping you to trust, to love, to open up. And to really honor yourself. I feel like this person is going to really build you up and make you feel content. Okay? Wow. Underneath the deck, we do have reconciliation. So some of you, like I said, it could be that you are reconciling with a person from your past. Okay? Let's get one more. What will your connection be like with this person? connection be like we have taciturn here okay so with this taciturn energy here this is about someone who is not necessarily telling you how they feel not necessarily someone who opens up this is someone who stays very quiet much like this emperor energy here okay like i said earlier the emperor is someone who's very stoic someone who they kind of have like a poker face. They don't really are are not mushy. They're not someone who's who's comes on, you know, super lovey dovey, but they're someone who is taking care of you, someone who is committed, someone who's loyal. Um, so it could even be with this taciturn energy that this is someone who I don't know. For some of you, it could even be scared to open up, scared to share your feelings with this person, scared to trust. Okay. So that is all that I have for you, pile number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please subscribe if you guys have not done so already. Um, and if you'd like a private reading, um, just send me an email, moonmouthgoddess at gmail.com, and I will get you set up. So other than that, I will see you guys in the next reading. Hello, pile number three. So for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel, this is a different view. <laughs> I don't normally record this way with my pick a card readings for those of you that are new here. Um, I'm trying this out. I don't know how often I'll do it, but um, I just wanted to do it because there's been so many new subscribers to the channel. Um, and most of you are, are used to just seeing my hands um, and I wanted to say hi. <laughs> Okay, so pile number three, those of you that resonated with the Star Spinner Tarot. We're doing two questions, so this is going to be two parts. Okay, we're going to do the first question, um, go over the energy that is there, and then I'm going to clear the cards, and then we're going to do the second question. Okay, so your first question is going to be, who are you meant to be with? And then the second part of this reading is going to be what will your connection um, or relationship be like with this person, okay? So just keep in mind it is a general reading. Not all of the messages are going to resonate for you guys and that's okay. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to choose a different pile or check out the pick a card playlist that I do have. Um, I also do monthly giveaways once a month. So you want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that to have a free in-depth reading with me. Okay? So pile number three. Who is pile number three meant to be with? Okay. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? So it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. With the Ace of Coins, I do see this as someone who is being divinely guided to you, okay? The Aces are really blessings, um, divine intervention taking place to bring someone into our life. So this could be a really beautiful new beginning with someone new, or it could potentially be for those of you who already know who the person that you are meant to be with, whether a twin flame, a soulmate, um, 
this could be a new beginning with this person, a new opportunity to be able to connect with this person. So we are going to be looking a little bit more um, into that energy. But we've got the Ace of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So who's Prime Number 3 meant to be with? Okay. So we've got the Four of Coins. Okay. So I feel like with the Four of Coins energy here, this is someone who is stable. Someone who is secure, okay? Someone who's going to provide a lot of stability into your life, um, the two of you together, okay? Got a lot of earth energy here. Um, we also have the Knight of Wands, okay? So I also feel like there's someone who may even come in very quickly with the Knight of Wands energy there. Um, it could also be someone who is very passionate, someone who you have a very strong, passionate um, connection with, okay, so very fiery energy as well, Aries Leo Sagittarius, um, it could be a lot of very strong sexual chemistry there, okay, so who is pile number three meant to be with, okay, so we have the six of swords, okay, Gemini Libra Aquarian energy here, and then we also have the three of cups, okay, some of you, this could be reconciliation with a past connection, one that you had moved on from, okay? Some of you with that Four of Pentacles there, there could even be this feeling that either for you or for this person, that there is a fear of loss, a fear of letting go, a fear of even taking things to the next level. Um, with the Six of Swords energy here, this is talking about moving on or letting go of something, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but it can also be a way of thinking, things that are not serving us in our life. So with the Six of Swords, it could even be talking about someone who is overseas, someone who's in a different country, someone who's away from you um, at a distance. Underneath the deck, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? And so this Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. This is energy of someone who is very independent okay someone who is financially secure someone who is financially stable we're already seeing that here with the ace and the four of pentacles okay i feel like this person is going to have a lot of very passionate energy here with the knight of wands someone who goes after what it is that they want um i feel like this person is someone who also likes to have a good time with the three of cups here someone who enjoys engaging with other people um, with the Nine of Coins energy here as well, I also feel like this is someone who is going to be, like I said, financially stable. But it can also be someone who is very fortunate, very wealthy. Someone who is very wise, very smart, makes very good decisions for their life. Okay, so let's clarify this energy a little bit. Let's see what this Ace of Coins is here. Okay, and then we do have the Eight of Wands here. Okay, so let's get a little bit more. There's this four of coins here. Okay, we've got two. We've got the fool. And we've also got the moon. Okay, so with this moon energy here, could potentially be a Pisces. This person is going to be someone who may be a little bit mysterious. Um, someone who's very adventurous. Okay, with the fool energy here, this is someone who is, is very much a risk taker. Someone who... I feel like is young at heart, okay? Someone who likes adventure, someone who just kind of is someone who is like, okay, hurry up, pack your bags, we're going, we're going. Um, the Eight of Wands energy here, this could again be talking about distance. It could also be about things happening very quickly, maybe with this person. Like I said, I kind of get this energy where this person is just coming in very quick um, into your life, okay? So let's see what this Knight of Wands is here. What is this Knight of Wands? Ooh, Nine of Swords. Okay. So with the Knight of Wands energy, or the, I'm sorry, the Knight of Nine of Swords to this Knight of Wands. I kind of feel this energy here where this person may be a little bit scared of commitment 
that commitment is something that scares them. I feel like this person may be come across as someone who is maybe flighty, someone who I don't want to say it's going to be for all of you, but I almost get like this a little bit of a player vibe from the Knight of Wands. Someone who is commitment phobic. Okay. Well, let's see what the Six of Swords energy here is, because this is kind of leaving something behind. So it could also be that this person is deciding that, hey, you know what? This life isn't for me anymore. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to um, get it together. Let's see. What is the Six of Swords here? Okay. So we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the Knight of Swords. And then our Nine of Pentacles again. So I definitely feel like this person is someone who is commitment phobic. And it could be that they are kind of transitioning out of that with the Six of Swords energy here. With the Five of Swords, I also see this as a feeling of, of being feeling defeated in some way. Um, the Five of Swords can also sometimes be a little bit of a more aggressive type of energy in which there's arguing or fighting. For some of you, it's not going to be for all of you. Um, but the Five of Swords can sometimes make us feel like, you know, we're unlucky at love. We're feeling a need to kind of retreat or, or pull away in some way. But we have the Knight of Swords here and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I almost feel like there's this energy here where this person is starting to gain clarity. They're learning to lose, use, lose, use their logic um, more so. And it could even be that they're moving away because we have the, the Nine of Pentacles here as well. So I feel like this person may even be someone who's very goal-driven. And because of that... There's someone who may travel a lot, someone who may even have their own business, someone who the thought of settling down right now may be something that scares them, something that they are fearful of, of, of having a relationship. It's something that they kind of shy away from. They're kind of scared to take things to that next level. Like the rest of their life without relationships, without love is something where they feel like I'm game, I want to do this, I want to do that. Um, but with the moon energy here, I also feel a sense of irrational fear that may also be there. So I kind of had this feeling that this person, whoever this is for you, you keep in mind general reading, that this is going to be someone who is transitioning out of this place of feeling that they want to stay single for the rest of their life or that they are, are destined to be alone. Okay, so let's see what this three of cups energy is here. We've got temperance, okay? So finding balance here with the temperance energy, this person could also be a Sagittarius, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo. I think we've got all the signs here. But I feel like this person is going to bring a lot of balance, a lot of happiness. I feel like with the Six of Swords, like I said, they're leaving behind the bachelor life or the bachelorette life, and they're now kind of like, Focusing on taking things, taking the opportunity to move into a relationship or connection. I feel like with the temperance energy here, this is someone who is also bringing a lot of balance um, into your life. This person will also be someone who has a lot of healing type of energy here. We have the Six of Wands. Okay, and with that Six of Wands energy, I also see this as someone who other people may look to, like this person with the Six of Wands here, this is about victory, this is about achievements, um, being successful. So I feel like, again, finance, their job, their career is going to be something that is very important to them. This person, like I said, they may travel a lot. They may have tried to shy away from love and relationships. Um, ma mainly career focused, goal oriented. Who are you meant to be with? 
we've got the four of cups okay so I feel like this could either be your energy this could also be your person's energy with the four of cups and I feel like because the four of cups can also talk about a missed opportunity so for some of you you may already know who this person is some of you may not with the four of cups it can even talk about people who are feeling a little disappointed maybe they've been unlucky at love maybe they're kind of feeling like i said they feel like they're kind of destined to be alone or that they're never going to find someone um and because they're kind of in that that energy or keeping themselves there they may be kind of feeling like is it ever going to happen for me or you may even be feeling that way with the four of cups but i feel like with the four of cups energy here as well um that this is really saying pay attention to you know, either this person coming into your life or this person that they need to really focus because they could also miss out on an opportunity with you if you already know who this person is. Okay, so let's get a little bit more. Who are you meant to be with? Pile number three. Wow, we've got the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Ten of Cups energy. Okay. So this Ten of Cups here is really bringing in a lot of very beautiful emotional happiness fulfillment. I'm also noticing here that she looks like she's in a wedding gown. She looks like she's got her little wedding dress on. And if you notice this kind of, I don't know if it's a fairy, some kind of mythical creature, but she's got wings on her. And I almost feel like this is really spirit. You know, your ancestors, guardian angels, kind of bringing in this person into your life. So definitely, like I said, with that Ace of Pentacles, I definitely feel like it is something that is divinely guided this person bringing to you. So, of course, with temperance energy here, again, this is about practicing patience, being patient with this process as this person is coming into your life. Okay? What do you want to be with? How number three? Okay, we've got the Three of Swords. Okay, so letting go of this pain, the heartache, healing. I feel like this this person is going to provide a lot of very healing energy. For some of you, if you know who this person is, and you know this is your person, um, you may even feel like you and this person have experienced a lot of pain or heartache in the past because maybe this person... For some of you was a player maybe they weren't ready to settle down maybe they weren't ready for a commitment yet okay who are you meant to be with we've got the five of cups okay so there is this heavier energy that is coming in here the five of cups is about grief loss sadness so for some of you you could even be feeling that this person that you're meant to be with is someone that you've experienced maybe even a breakup a separation but i feel like clarity is going to be gained with this person about you guys being able to make it past this um i do feel like this connection is going to provide a lot of healing with the three of swords and the five of cups it could either be you or it could be this person okay there's a lot of healing energy um in this and we have the page of cups okay at the bottom so with the page of cups there this is you know focusing on self-love so i also feel like this connection this person is going to be someone who is having some type of romantic offer for you like i said with the knight of wands not the most commitment person it is more so player someone who doesn't want to settle down but I feel like maybe there may be a change of heart um, with this with this pile, okay? If you don't know who this person is, then it could be just something that they're going through. Maybe they've been very hurt in the past. Maybe you've been very hurt in the past. And really the two of you coming together in this Ten of Cups is really, really beautiful, okay? So pile number three, who are you meant to be with? Actually, give these a shot. Who is pal number three meant to be with? Wow, 
We have grief here. So there's some heavy energy with this. And I'm not sure. You'll have to use your judgment here. We've got the grief energy here. We've got the five of cups. Okay. The three of swords. So some of you could be grieving the loss of this person. Or this person could be grieving the loss of you. And I feel like if that is the situation with the Three of Cups here, it is going to be reconciliation. But it may just be needing time. Needing some time. With the Six of Swords here, I also get this vibe that there could have been a breakup or a separation. So like I said, for some of you, it could be that you are kind of just waiting. Waiting for this person. But clarity being gained here with the Knight of Swords. So some of you may even know who this person is already. There's a lot of sadness here with the grief. It could even be that you are connecting with this person when they are dealing with grief or heartache from something from the past. Okay, who are you meant to be with? You have ego. Okay, so for some of you, this person may have a problem with their ego, especially with that Knight of Wands energy. They could be letting, allowing their ego to get in the way. Um, something that they are working through. Okay. Scared of being hurt. We have privacy here as well. Okay? So for some of you, this person could be someone who's very private. Someone who doesn't feel comfortable opening themselves up. They could be someone who has been very wounded or hurt or is literally grieving the loss of something from their past. Okay? It could even be that you are feeling this way. If this, you know who this person is. Okay. We have Discord here. And we also have memories, okay? So some of you may have memories with this person, of this person. Um, with the discord here, this is talking about some type of argument or disagreement, okay? So some of you may have a past with this person in which there was an argument or a fight or something of that nature. Who are you meant to be with? Okay, wow. This is beautiful. We have the one. Okay. So that may be confirmation for you that even if you guys are going through something a little crazy right now. Wow. We've got karma, clarity, and spiritual. Okay. So this person, for some of you, it could be a karmic cycle you're going through. It could be there. there is attachments to a karmic partner. With the spiritual energy here, I feel like it is going to be a very spiritual connection with you. Um, for some of you, with the discord here and the karma, it could be just, like I said, a karmic, some type of karmic cycle that you guys are going through at this time. Okay, some type of disagreement that you maybe have had. But there is clarity being gained here. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing with that king of swords is... Things making sense. We have intimacy at the bottom. So some of you it could have even been a friends with benefits situation in which this person was, like I said, not ready for that level of commitment. Okay. Okay. So who is pal number three meant to be with? Okay. So we have children here. Okay, so it could be that this person has children, um, that this will be the person that you will be having children with. You could have children already. This person could already have a child, maybe with a common partner for some of you. Who are you meant to be with? Wow, we have engagement here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so like I said, with that page of cups that we had as the overall energy, um, there's an offer here. Okay, so for some of you wanting commitment from this person, I feel like this person is going to come forward. Okay, some of you, this person could have kids with someone else, child, children. Um... Some of you, this person could be grieving over the loss of a child. Okay, that's not going to be for all of you, but I am getting that message. 
loss of a, a partner, a spouse, so it may be difficult for them to, you know, have a new have a new relationship or connection. What are you meant to be with? Wow. Okay. So we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. So I feel like this is spirit telling you to be optimistic. It could also be that this person is needing to be a little bit more op optimistic about things. Um, a little bit more open to commitment and to love and to relationships. Okay. Underneath the deck, we do have healing family issues. Okay. So it could be that this person is needing to heal inner child wounds. You're needing to heal those as well. It could also be that this person is, is healing um, from the past. Okay, so let's get these last messages and we'll switch to the next question. So who is pile number three meant to be with? Who is pile number three meant to be with? Okay, so we have gambler energy here. It says willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. Okay, so for some of you, it could be that you feel, you know that this person is your person. Okay, especially with this spiritual type of energy here. Um, if you look at this guy, he's got like this blindfold and he's like just continuing to move forward okay so for some of you i feel like this is a situation where you already know that this is your person and it may just be a matter of you having trust and having patience that this person is going to come forward um let's see what are you meant to be with who's counting the three meant to be with Okay, so we have Samaritan here, refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore, okay? So this is going to be someone who cares about other people, someone who maybe the two of you guys are working together to help other people, something that you guys both enjoy doing, okay? Oh, wow, we have healer here, okay? So this person could be a healer, this person could be very spiritual in nature, you could be um, as well, <clears throat> it says passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit, ability to help transform pain into healing, okay? So this person could be a nurse, this person could be a doctor, this person could be some type of spiritual healer, um, maybe working as a first responder, anything that is really helping other people, <clears throat> maybe as their job, Okay. So we have uh, accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. Okay. Um, so I feel like this person is going to be someone who works very hard. Someone who works very hard um, at their job, their career, working to better themselves, really pulling themselves into alignment. Um, I, f I just f kind of feel like there's going to be some time where this person needs to kind of come around what the offer is here. Okay, so we're going to get this cleared away. We're going to go into the second question, which is going to be, what will your relationship or your connection be like with this person? Okay, pile number three. So what will your relationship or connection be like with this person, with the person you're meant to be with? What is your relationship going to be like? And as I told pile number one and pile number two, nothing is set in stone. We all have free will. So if you're noticing that something kind of is something that you're not liking, you always have the power to change it, especially for those of you that are like, I don't want anybody from my past. You have free will. Okay. Three, what will your connection be like with your person that you're meant to be with? Wow. <laughs> we have the Ten of Coins here, Ten of Pentacles. So very beautiful. Um, this Ten of Pentacles energy is talking about a lot of stability, security, 
a sense of building a family legacy. Um, definitely marriage, family, engagement, having a home, pets even for some of you. Okay. Okay, we also, wow. We have the Empress energy here. This is beautiful. We have the Two of Cups. Okay. So the Empress energy is really this relationship being one that is unconditional love with your person. This person making you feel beautiful. This person, the Empress energy is also very much centered around manifestation, prosperity, abundance, being able to believe both of you having the confidence, the self-esteem, um, to focus on manifesting your dreams with this person. And with the Two of Cups energy here, this is really talking about a very strong bond, harmony, balance. Okay. Pregnancy. Okay. With the Empress. It could be that you guys are having a family. What will your connection be like with this person? Okay. So we have the star. Okay. So a lot of healing. Um, a lot of hope, a lot of trust, a lot of visions, dreams for the future, big plans. Okay. We also have the queen of wands energy here as well. So with that queen of wands, this is talking about passion, desire, being able to both of you go after <clears throat> what it is that you want. Okay. Very focused, very driven on future, building something very beautiful. Okay, so let's get clarification here. What is this Ten of Pentacles? What is this? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so for some of you, this could be someone from your past. Okay, someone you have a past with. Someone that even there's children here with the Six of Cups as well. Marriage, family, children, okay, <clears throat> with this person. What is this Empress energy here? We've got the Four of Wands, wow, and the Three of Cups. This is so beautiful. All of you guys, all your all piles today had had some really beautiful energy come through with your significant other person. So we've got the Four of Wands, and we also have the Three of Cups on this clarifying this empress energy here so the three of cups is really about it can be for some of you it could be about reconciliation with the with a past person um three of cups is also about happiness joy celebration the four of wands is about stability engagements marriage proposals something to really beautiful to celebrate motherhood um let's get what this Two of Cups energy is here. We have the Four of Cups. I wonder what that's about. Let's see. What is this Two of Cups energy here? We've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So I almost feel like you and this person may have some difficulties or some setbacks with things we have the eight of coins here so i feel like this is about the two of you guys working on this relationship or partnership for some of you it could even be blending families um and we also have the hierophant here okay so the hierophant is talking about a traditional sense of a commitment marriage you know um but I kind of feel because that there's a little bit of a delay with this, either that this person is coming in or that, that you guys are moving through something that may be a little bit challenging for you with the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse and the Four of Cups. But you guys are working on it. You guys are working on your relationship, on your partnership here with the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what the star energy is here. We've got the Nine of Swords. Okay, so even though there's fear and anxiety here with the with the star, it is about things kind of working, working out, working together. Um, we've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. 
Let's get one more. What is the star? We've got the nine of pentacles and judgment. Okay. So I kind of have this feeling with your person, with us having the nine of coins here. For some of you, it could be that this person is single, has always been single, or that there is the thought of changing from single to married is something that is like they're needing to make a decision about it, a choice. With the judgment energy here, this is really kind of that wake-up call, the epiphany, the aha moment. Um, you're being called to action with the judgment energy here. So it could be that there is renewal for some of you that have, know who this person is. The judgment energy is about bringing a sense of renewal to this connection, forgiving, letting go of the past, healing. Okay, so what is this Queen of Wands? Oh, yeah, we got the Eight of Swords. So someone in this connection is going to be very much in their head thinking negative about things and it could just be not trusting the process okay not trusting the process of this connection or whatever it is that you guys would be going through what is the queen of wands it could even be doubting having fear doubts what is this queen of wands we've got the queen of pentacles here I feel like it's just doubt here. You got the queen of, of wands, the queen of coins here. Both are very grounded, centered. But I feel like there may be kind of like this, I don't even want to say mistrust, but um, with the eight of swords here. The eight of swords is when we kind of put ourselves in that mental prison. Let's see. Let's clarify. What is this eight of swords here? What is this about? What is this eight of swords? Ten of Wands, okay? So, I feel like it's qu questioning whether or not this person is either going to come forward, whether this person is ever going to come. Um, because the Ten of Wands is that very sense of uh, burden, stress, carrying a lot of weight, a lot of emotional baggage. So, it could also be that a lot of this emotional baggage is either something that you are carrying, this person is carrying. But I kind of feel like you guys are working through that together to really go after your goals, to really focus on stability and security here with this Ten of Pentacles and just kind of making it happen. Okay? I, I've noticed that all three piles have had, you know, there's challenges. Every relationship does. Um... But I kind of feel like with this, it's going to be about trusting that either this person is going to come forward, this person is ever going to come into your life, um, that you're ever going to get married, that you're ever going to have kids. But this Queen of Coins here is also something that is very nurturing, very loving. Okay? Very nurturing with this uh, connection with this person. Okay? So pile number three, what will your connection or relationship be like with this person? Reflection. Okay. So with that energy there, I feel like this connection is going to maybe cause a lot of reflection for you, for this person. Make you think back on things, how you want to change things moving forward. Not allowing, you know, things that kind of come between you to be an obstacle. We have peace here. Okay. Okay. So finding peace, balance with this connection. I'm also noticing that there is a baby here as well. We have compassion. Okay, compassionate energy in your relationship, connection, beautiful. We have faith. Okay, and I feel like that's what that star energy. We have transition at the bottom. Okay, so it can even be that if you do know who this person is from your past, that you guys are transitioning through this, you're... Releasing a lot of the old emotional baggage, being able to move forward. Okay. Pile number three. What will your connection be like 
with this person you're meant to be with. Okay, we have she who begins, launch, actualize, and potential. Okay, and I am seeing a lot of transformation in that picture here. So I feel like it is going to be about the two of you guys, your connection having a lot of very strong potential, but it is about the two of you guys being able to move through, especially if there's any type of transition that is involved, either for you or for them, changing certain circumstances within your life, um, especially if your person is with another person or you're with another person. And I feel like kind of this is why this Eight of Swords and Ten of Wands is there. It's maybe that transition period is something that is difficult. Okay. We also have She Who Thrives, Flourish, Prosper, and Blossom. Okay, so you guys being able to grow, love together. We also have She Who Knows, Wisdom, Clarity, and Resolution. Okay, so being able to find a solution together. Okay, and I also feel like with that sense of compassion with each other, we've got nurturing at the bottom, is you guys both helping each other to heal through this and find and bring clarity to your connection okay so we're gonna do some last messages for you guys what will your relationship or connection be like with this person wow we have truth beautiful honesty okay we have fifth dimension here okay so some of you may feel like, okay, I'm connecting with this person in my dreams. I'm still waiting for this person. I have dreams about them. Wow. Okay. So we have shadows here. Okay. So it could be that this connection is challenging you. This connection is something that is bringing up a lot of the shadow aspects within you, within them, for you guys to really kind of work through. It could also be that this connection is one that even triggers you in the beginning and triggering all the parts of you that are needing to be healed, okay? We have signs here as well, okay? So it could be that this connection is one that brings in a lot of synchronicity, a lot of things that you're noticing, a lot of things that your person is seeing. Um, it could even be an indicator of when this person starts or is on their way into your life that you're going to start seeing these signs. Um, maybe even that you're going through these triggers here with the shadow energy here. For some of you, it could be a twin flame. When you're going through all of this stuff. Okay. And we also have danger. Okay. So I'm going to see what that is about. And I feel like with the eight of. The eight of swords and the uh, ten of wands. That you're going to have to watch the way you think. The way you speak. The way that you're. The energy that you're putting out. Or it could be that your person is also needing to be that way as well. Because. If you're connecting with this person and this person is someone you are meant to be with and you are constantly feeling negative, you're constantly feeling like it's either too good to be true or there's something wrong or because this eight of swords is, like I said, this mental prison that you put yourself in with feeling stressed out, overwhelmed. So I feel like that is a danger to yourself because it could be that you are self-sabotaging. Um, and I feel like Spirit is saying here, you're going through this transition, maybe with this connection, or it could be that both of you are in that transition. And a lot of these shadow aspects, unless you're bringing them up to the surface to really heal and clear them, and if you allow them to be something that gets in your mind and in your head, that it has the potential to be something where you start not trusting, you start having doubts, you start having fear, and all of these things get in the way you know it could be the most beautiful partner prince charming and then because we've been wounded in the past we screw it up okay so i feel like this is really spirit saying here it's 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 about working through these things about working through any of the shadow aspects as you're moving through this transition um and just trusting this. So let's get a little bit more. I am going to clarify the danger though. What will this connection be like? We have waiting. Okay. 
So some of you may feel like I'm waiting right now. Um, it could be that you're still waiting for this person or there may be some additional time that you're still needing to wait for this person to come into your life. Okay. We also have tragedy here. Okay. So this energy came up earlier with the grief and the loss. So it could be that either one of you have gone through something that was very difficult, either for you or for them. We have uplift at the bottom. Okay. So I do also feel like this is going to be something that this connection with you together is going to be, you guys may experience that together. You guys may experience a lot of the shadow stuff together. But the big message here is the transition. Okay? So you guys are moving away, learning to have hope and faith for these things. Um, and being able to kind of make past those difficulties. Okay, so let's see. What is this danger here? What is the danger here? We have the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups again. Okay. So I feel like this is past. Okay holding on to the past because this 10 of wands here is really about you carrying all of your emotional baggage, your person carrying all of their emotional baggage. So if you are allowing this, I feel like this is kind of like a warning with this. You guys are moving through transition. You, you Even if the two of you guys come together and you individually, each of you is not perfect, there may be a little bit of stuff that you guys will need to go through in the beginning as you're working and healing through things. So whatever this Five of Cups is and this Three of Swords that either you've experienced, they've experienced for some of you. Like I said, there could have been some type of tragedy that they may have gone through something very difficult, okay, for some of you. I feel like the danger being here is that a lot of allowing that pain allowing that grief, allowing that sense of loss to stop you from being able to connect with this person, okay? You are in control of you. You are in control of your healing. You can't necessarily control the way another person heals or, you know, what they've got. You can be in control of your own thoughts here with the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands, of letting the baggage go, letting the stress go. So I feel like what Spirit is saying here with this danger is that this pain, this heartache, do not let it consume you, okay? And also for this other person. The Three of Pentacles here is about being able to come together. So don't allow what you've gone through, what you're carrying, what you're holding on to, because you may connect with this person, like I said, when you're still holding on to all of this Ten of Wands, Okay? The Ten of Wands message is letting you know that it's okay for you to let it go, okay? Put it down. Set it down. So the danger comes with holding on to grief, holding on to sadness, anger, resentment, doubt, fear, anything that hurt you from the past. Because Spirit is saying here that you're going through this transition. Your person may also be going through this tr transition. But this connection is meant to uplift you. This connection is one where you're meant to be kind of in this place of feeling this sense of compassion and bringing peace into your life. So it may be a connection where both of you with this Eight of Pentacles here are needing to work, are needing to really focus on bringing harmony and balance into this Two of Cups energy, okay? Feeling confident in your, in your connection, your relationship, being completely open and honest with each other. Spirit is saying here that this connection has a lot of potential, okay? But it is about letting the past go, okay? So that is all that I have for you, um, pile number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, like, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd love to have you. Um, we do free monthly giveaways um, every month for to win a free in-depth reading with me. So um, thank you guys so much for your time, and I will see you in the next reading.